these guys. Uh, they have good striking, but nobody when they uh, drop him down, nobody go to the grappling with him. Nobody hold him there. But we know when someone give him hard time, he always give up. That's why I'm gonna take him down, make him tired, and he gonna give up like he did ten time in UFC. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, he because that's been a story about him, right? That he was a, a quitter, you know, and now it's like people are like, oh, he's not a quitter anymore. You you think he is? He is same. If someone comes, like, give him hard time, he's going to give up 100%. Wait a minute. Huh? You? Going to be on their back foot. Charles Oliveira is going to be no different. He's going to be going to be on his back foot. He's going to be overreacting, and I'm going to I'm going to land shots, pick him up, put him down if I have to, but most likely, hopefully, knock him out in the first or second round. I also was alluding to the fact you look at the Paul Felder fight. He tapped due to strikes. Felder elbows raining down. Of Charles Oliveira. Oh, big elbow by Felder. Oh, nice. oh nice. huge elbow. Nice. This might be it. No, 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 no. Paul Felder gets Charles Oliveira out of there. So. Um, you look at um, numerous fights, he, he just kind of goes, if, if, he, if he can't impose him, his will on you, there comes a point where he just, he looks at you and decides, okay, you've won this one, I'm, gonna, I'm done, I'm gonna go collect half a paycheck and I'm gonna, I'm gonna go home. I think there's gonna be a moment or multiple moments in this fight where he's gonna see it in my eyes, he's gonna feel the power that I possess, he's gonna feel that I only get better and he's, he's fast, if, on a fast journey straight down to, um, panicking and I, I just think that's i think that's what's going to happen um uh, you you've uh you've you've been respectful of charles but you've also said that he you've seen him break in the octagon you've seen him you know in your in your mind quit a little bit so when you have a guy like that who you feel like like you've seen that in him is there an opportunity to uh to kind of win the fight before the fight starts and get in his head a little bit uh, so i believe the great thing about this is i can just put my foot on the gas get in his face Fans in Houston are going to love what we what we bring to the table, and at some point, there's going to be a moment where he gets to choose: Do I keep moving forward, or do I just say fighting for the title? Fighting for the title was enough for me. Mm -hmm. I don't need to be champion. Um, for me, that that moment will never come. And man, I can't wait to get in his face and just put my hands on him. De verdade, você é aquele fight de verdade? Acho que esse cara vai cair sentado no primeiro round. Yeah, good luck tomorrow, you too. I saw in another interview that you have already visualized this fight in great detail from start to finish. You share that vision? Yeah, I'm, I'm big on visualization. I, I do I do need to see it hundreds of times uh, before the fight actually happens, both to be prepared for it as well as to instill confidence in myself, in my psyche, in my spirit. I think from the first exchange, I meet Charles Oliveira in the middle of that octagon. Uh, I immediately instill fear in him and immediately make him start second guessing himself, get him on his back foot. As soon as he feels my power in, in one of those first couple exchanges, I believe he's going to start retreating, which as you saw in the Dan Hooker fight is the beginning of the end. But I believe I, I finish him with a, a knockout or TKO within the first two rounds. I mean, first, first off, hats off to Charles. Hats off to Charles for 
surviving that first round, surviving their barrage. Um, secondly, a huge thank you to the, the to the UFC for this opportunity. You know, I just saw Dana and Hunter and those guys back there. Uh, I really feel like I'm living a dream. Win, lose, or draw. Um, but, uh, you know, here we are. Got a busted up eye and another loss on my record. But, hey, I've come back from, I've come back from worse. Um, and I, you've said, like uh, you said that, you know, the belt is still your goal. Charles Oliveira is not your goal. If he's holding it great, you know, if he's not, the belt is your goal. Um, after being in there with him, what does your gut tell you? You think, you think that guy holds on to the belt? You think when you make your way back to the top and you fight for a UFC championship again, do you think it's against Charles Oliveira? Uh, I mean, that's a, that's a hard, hard one to answer because if I say no, then everyone's going to say, well, but you lost to him, so you you got to give him some props at least. But I do give him props. I do think Charles Oliveira is world-class. But I think I... And I can't wait to break his face. You guys, he gets hit a lot, and uh, he better pray and hope for the next however many days until our fight that he takes me down, gets his choke, because if not, we see what happens. You know, Oliver brings such a crazy style to the cage. I think um, for me, that would be a great matchup. And, uh, my, my job will be to prove myself right when I step in there with him. Make it clear. Yeah. Um, but I am prepared and I am very confident that I will win. A lot of Your last styles fight. when it comes to the sport, but when you step in there with me, nobody comes out unscathed. Phoenix will be great. I think this, this time around, this title, this shot for a title um, is perfect. I think I'm, I'm going to win. I know it. I have a feeling uh, deep inside me, so I'm excited to get it done. The choice to quit is something that one makes. And once you make it, you can make it again. You know, he's not as powerful. He doesn't have the structure. He doesn't have the frame. And he can't, uh, he doesn't have explosive takedowns. He's gonna have to find me, you know, making a mistake, overreaching and take and try to get into a grappling situation. Outside that, he better be praying every day that he gets me to the ground. I mean, I want Charles Oliveira to, uh, to show me that he, he doesn't, he's not a quitter um, because nothing has showed me that. that um, the only thing I envision is I've envisioned it like about four times, him going to sleep. I don't know how he went to sleep, but I know I wasn't asleep. Um, and that, no, I want it to be as pure as possible, but it's gonna feel amazing. That's why I love this sport. It takes one shot. One shot to put a, put a dude out, one position to fall in, one submission. Fight, you know, Charles was uh, brilliant, you know, and he hurt me often. He hurt me early. Ten seconds in, I was, uh, you know, really hurt, and probably four times after that, I uh, felt something I've never felt in a cage. So, you know, it was uh, just one of those fights where, you know, it was against adversity the whole time. I was gonna ask. I was gonna ask about that. I think after the fight, the cameras picked you up, saying like you hit really hard when you guys were both leaving the octagon. So we, we, did that catch you yeah. off guard? That how powerful and crisp his striking was. Yeah, I mean it's a feeling. You know, it was a feeling I've never felt. You know, usually you get hit. You call it a buzz. Um, I call it a flash. And this is more like my tongue just went on a super powerful battery, and it just my entire body. It was crazy. So uh, yeah, it was. Perfect shots, you know, perfect time, one or the other. And yeah, it was the factors that I, I faced that night. The title fight between Charles and Islam coming up. I'm 100% confident that Islam will not dominate Charles. And uh, that's about it. What makes you say he, you're sure he won't dominate him? Obviously, that's something we've seen from him so far in his career. Yeah, I don't know how to explain it. That's, uh, that's what I feel. The last time I stepped in, in there with him, you know, I don't, there's no way that, uh, it's going to be a great fight. I wish I was there. I wish it wasn't in Abu Dhabi so I could be there. 
But uh, yeah, you guys are, we're all in for a treat. Do you think that's just going to be a clash of both of them with the forward pressure? They both like to move forward at, at all costs? Uh, I don't know. I think um, I think Charles is going to move forward. I don't see, you know, Islam's going to try. And eventually he might be successful. And if he is, he'll win. Uh, but I don't see, you know, I don't see him tiring him out. If even if he takes him down for the first two rounds, I don't see Charles being um, getting submitted, and I don't see him being too exhausted to continue to fight the fight that he needs to fight. Um, so it's just what I think.